but how many actors are really producers? Orson Welles. Very good. Orson Welles, unfortunately, has not proven successful in that direction. Oh, I disagree with you heavens, totally. Mr. G. I think The Magnificent Ambersons and Citizen Kane were two of the finest pictures I've ever seen. I saw The Magnificent Ambersons again the other day, and it seemed to me to be by far one of the most wonderful pictures I've ever seen in my Wells, life. I happen to like Orson tremendously. Who wouldn't? I think Orson Welles is a very brilliant director. There's only one I fault I find with Orson Welles, and I have told him so many times. He thinks he's a writer. He is not a writer. I think and he I is. And I don't care how good a producer he is, or director. He must prospect the story. He does everything. I think he's a wonderful writer. He uh, I like never Red can agree with you on, Never can I agree with you on that point at all, because I know him, I watched his career. I well, know then we must beg to differ. Would you employ Orson Welles, Mr. Goldwyn, as a director? Yes, as a director, but not as a writer. But do you agree, but Sam, do you agree that The Magnificent Ambersons was a very finely written and directed picture? Yes. Because I believe Orson did both. Yes, I do. Do you agree? I do, I do. Ah, that's But good. you cannot live on that for good. 20 years. You see, you, you, uh, no one is perfect, but you must have a better average than Orson Welles has had. I think the peaks that he's reached are worth a lot of other yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, mediocre uh, peaks that other people have reached. Now, could we change for a moment from Orson Welles to Mr. Goldwyn? I was reading the other day something that was written in 1940 about Mr. Goldwyn, and I noticed that it was said Hollywood is today the motion picture capital of the world. And the principal reason is that a man named Sam Goldwyn lives here. Well, today Hollywood is no longer the motion picture capital of the world as it once was. You've all said this. What went wrong? I am not defending... Hollywood, all of Hollywood's pictures. But I do say this to you, that right now, as we stand today, Hollywood pictures are more popular throughout the world than any other country. The chances are they may beat us unless we improve. And we are on the way to improving. If you look what's happened the last two or three years, they are going in that direction to make fewer pictures and make better pictures because they found out that the public will just not come and support them. Well, I was simply thinking that um, if um, Hollywood sort of lost its control of the, uh, the movie houses, uh, isn't it because people who came over from Germany and from other parts of, of the other uh, continent in the other uh, twenties, people like um, Billy Wilder, um, Fritz Lang, that kind of person. Now, Hollywood seems to have stopped uh, importing these enormously uh, talented people. Could it perhaps be that the um, talented Germans and Hungarians and Italians nowadays prefer to uh, stay at home where perhaps they can operate with a little more... Uh, freedom. Yes. I don't know what you mean by freedom. Some people, Lawrence Olivia doesn't need any freedom because he has freedom in his he heart. He certainly does, and he demands it, old boy. He has freedom yeah. in his heart, you're and he there. knows how to use his freedom. Sam? The thing to Sam, do... Sam, yeah. you're wrong there. He demands all the freedom in the world, and he, and he gets it. <laughs> I say, I'm, but I'm he happy to say, exception. There are just except a few... Except, of course, that he didn't get the freedom to do Macbeth, which was a great shame and a pity and a disgrace. Speaking for myself again, I am not yet ready to put shove under the doors six or seven million dollars or three million dollars or two million dollars and go away fishing. I... Mr. Gelvin, this talk about shoving six million dollars under the door and going um, fishing, I'm not quite clear what you sort of uh, mean I didn't by get that. that, I'm afraid. I, may I clarify that point? There are two kinds of producers. One is, as Mr. Tynan said, an organizer, and the other really is a producer. I do a great many things myself that others leave to the director. And the chances are, I may be wrong, but then nevertheless, I've been here for 46 years, and I'm still working and still doing all right. But I never give the final word to anyone but the Goldwyn. And I shall continue to do that, and when the day comes when I cannot get away with it, 
I'm going to stop making pictures. Oh, well, that, I... that won't be for a long time, I hope, Mr. Sir. Goldman, I should have thought, you know, in, in a way, that sort of overall control by um, one man in some way impeded the, uh, the liberty of the uh, artist's concern. You, to say, you can, might as well say that about Cecil DeMille. No one likes Cecil DeMille's pictures in Hollywood, but the public, or critics, they don't like it, but the public seems to like them. And after all, the public, are the, they have the final word about anyone. So that's, and I make myself clear now. Does that answer your question, Mr. Tynan? Oh, yes, but um, I would be very interested to, uh, to hear Mr. Goldwyn on the, uh, the question of if anybody will be uh, seeing Mr. DeMille's pictures in, say, 50 years' time. Um, I mean, millions of people are seeing them um, all over the world now, but, I mean, um, will they last? May As, for instance, um, that, Citizen may, Kane will last. May I answer that? He produced a picture of the, uh, 30 years ago. It was a biblical picture. The king... Sign of the cross. I forgot the name of the, the, name of the picture. King, sign of the cross. The sign of the cross. No, not the sign of the cross. Ten Commandments. The king of kings. Oh. Mr. Tainan, it's still being shown all over the world. Really? In outlying islands in the South Pacific? It's just <laughs> lived with the public. London? Some pictures he made were not as good as others, and that applies to every writer, every director, every producer. None of us can hit 100%. Anybody else's picture is going to live? I think Wuthering Heights is going to live as long as I live. So do I. And some of best years of our lives or going with the wind or any of the outstanding pictures will live. Some of Shakespeare's plays live. Oh, I think they live, don't you? Shakespeare's They've plays. They've done it for so long. Shakespeare's plays and some of your films and anything else, Mr. Goldman, what else will live? Don't Shakespeare's thing live, have lived for a hundred years or more? Great things live. And the bad things die. It's the same a man or woman. When they have bad health, they die. <laughs> Our time is up. But I would guess that the movies and the theater will remain healthy so long as we have producers like Goldwyn, actresses like Vivian Lee, and critics like Ken Tynan. Next week's guests in just a moment. Next week on Small World, Madame Callas from Milan, Sir Thomas Beecham from Nice, and Victor Borga from Connecticut. Good night. And good luck. Remember, Sir Thomas Beecham from Nice, Victor Borger from Connecticut, and Maria Callas from Milan next week, when Small World will be brought to you again by Olin Matheson.